Let's discover Webpack! And before we will start, remember to subscribe our channel with the red button down there, as always, and to leave us some thumbs up! As I just mentioned, today we are going to talk about Webpack. I don't know if you like to use it, don't like, or you are scared as I was in the beginning. And also I heard stories of other developers who tried to avoid using Webpack and setting that up from like whole power. But it's not so scary. And one day it will come the day for you that you will have to set it up. That's why today I decided to show you what's what in Webpack and how to configure the fi config file to make your project work nice. So, let's go to the computer and let's try to set up the Webpack configuration. And besides that, if you would like to learn more, don't forget to check our article on Dwami blog. I will leave you the link in the description where you can read a little bit more theory about Webpack. So, enjoy and let's go to the computer! Okay, so let's start from creating a new project and initialize npm. Let's open the console and let's create a project. I will call mine Webpack Tutorial and then let's enter the project folder and inside that let's init npm. Okay, when that's ready, we need to install all the necessary tools, so we need Webpack and Webpack CLI. It can take a second. Okay, when that's ready, please open the project in your favorite code editor and we will need some folder structure for our project. So let's create an src folder in the root folder of our project. And inside that let's create an index.js file. Ok, let's open index.js file. And we will put there some simple javascript code which will be bundled and we will be able to see it in our uh, file in the browser. So let's just create some simple h3 header and let's append it to the body. Okay, when that's ready, let's go and let's start our Webpack setup. To start with that, we will need a webpack.config.js file in the root folder of our application. So let's create one. Okay, and when this is ready, let's define the path constant. It's from Node.js. And below that, let's define a module.exports, which will be like the main object of our configuration. And we are going to start from entry. Entry is the point where is located our file which we would like to bundle. In our case, it's index.js. So inside the entry object, let's define index path, resolve, dear name, and the path to our file. And this is the base for the webpack to create a dependency graph. After that we also need some output. 
So let's define it as well, just below the entry. And in the output, we will define path and file name. Let's call our path build. And this is uh, the folder which will be created after the first build. And there we will be able to find our bundle file. And right now the file name. So this name in square brackets will be the same what's defined in entry. So in our case, it will be index.bundle.js. Uh, also, let me tell you that by default, the, the output folder is dist. Right now, we need a command to run our build. So let's go to package.json file. And in scripts, let's define the build to webpack. Cool, now we can run the build. So let's go back to the console and run npm run build. You should see some information about the bundle and generated code and about the successful compilation in your terminal. And when it works, you should see in your application the build folder, which wasn't there before. And right now we can go to the next thing, which will be the HTML usage. So we would like to use HTML templates and for that we will need a plugin in our webpack. So uh, let's install HTML webpack plugin. Okay, when it's ready, let's go back to our webpack configuration file. Let's define plugins as an array. And also let's import our HTML webpack plugin plugin using require so we will be able to use it as a plugin actually Okay, and inside plugins, let's define the new HTML webpack plugin. Let's define a template and let's pass a path to the template.html file, which we are going to create in a second in our source folder. Okay, when it's ready, let's go to the source folder. Let's create the new file. Let's call it template.html as the one we marked in the configuration. And let's create here some simple HTML file. Let's pass meta tag, let's pass title. And in the body, let's pass some simple hello world. Great. So now to try it out, let's go to console and let's make another build. Oh yeah, but before we will go there, let's go back to index.js file and let's fix this small bug. Here instead of the title content, we will write text content. So let's build once again. Okay, when you see that it's correct. We can now run the application in the browser. So let's open the HTML file generated. It's index.html and you will find it in a build folder of your application. So let's open it and let's check it out. And voila! You can see that we have our hello world which was in the template and also we have our h3 which was defined in a javascript file webpack made easy 
Cool, so let's go to the folder of our application and right now we are going to add some photos. So for that inside the source file let's create assets folder and let's put there some random image. I will have a nice koala. You can put that wherever you would like to. Cool, when image is there we can go back to our index.js file and import our image using import name of the image from name of the file. Okay, when it's imported, then let's go below the code in the same folder file and let's define const image as a new image. Let's add image.src and as a source of the image, let's pass koala. So the image we imported. And let's append child image to the page. Okay, right now let's go back to the webpack.config.js file and we are going to define some loaders. Let's create a module object below the plugins and inside this module object let's pass the rules. Rules will be an array. It's fine. And in the array, we will have an object with two values, test and type. Okay, let's go and build again. Okay, when we build, we can go and check the website and we should see the image. I don't know if you have koala too, but I can see a koala. Okay, so let's do some styling right now. Let's go back to the code and inside the source folder, let's create style.css file and let's put there some CSS. I've got already CSS code, so I'll just copy paste and you can rewrite it or create your own. Next, let's go in and import the CSS in the index.js file. And right now, to be able to see our styles, we need another loader. But we need to install this one, actually. And what we need is CSS loader and style loader. So let's install both of them. Okay, and let's go back to the webpack config right now. And inside our rules, let's pass another object. Let's pass here test with CSS. and should be used instead of type. Cool, great, let's go and let's try to run it. Great, let's see if that works. Let's uh, refresh our page. Great, styling works. Congratulations, you've just created your first webpack setup. I hope it wasn't so hard. Congratulations! We've just finished our first basic webpack setup. So, how was it? It's not so hard, right? I hope you like it and if you would like to see more videos like this, remember about thumbs up, comments 
And remember to check out our social media where you can find a lot of interesting things. And once again, if you don't subscribe our channel yet, remember to do it with this juicy red button below this video. I hope to see you all in the next video. Hey!